So are we pulling? What's up? It's Jimfo from Ready Check Pull, and this is our official boss guide for normal and heroic hungering destroyer. This guide is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. They get early access to these guides before anyone else, so if you want early access too, check out the Patreon link below. Alright, so the Hungering Destroyer fight is right after Huntsman Ultimore, and it's mainly about dealing with this leech debuff that makes players unhealable. The only way for these players to stay alive is by leeching health from other players, but leeching from too many players at once will put unnecessary stress on the healers. So balancing this is what makes this fight interesting. There's several different ways you could do this, but this is our recommendation. Before pulling, assign groups of 5 players to each of the two leech debuffs that'll go out. One group will be in melee, and one group will be in ranged. The raid will stack up directly behind the boss's right foot. The ranged debuff and their assigned players will go behind the raid, while the melee debuff and their assigned players will go directly behind the boss's left foot. You can place world markers down to help with positioning, but you'll stay in this position for most of the fight, just moving out and back for the other mechanics. So you'll want to lust on pull and get into position with the debuffs. Two players will get the Gluttonous Miasma debuff that looks like a circle of wind around them. Each player with the debuff will be unhealable and take constant ticking damage. Every time this ticking damage happens, they'll also leech health from anyone within the debuff circle. And you'll need at least three people in the circle to outleach the ticking damage the debuff player takes. We just assigned five players to each debuff to also account for any other damage in the fight. The leech debuff will change players regularly throughout the fight, so just keep putting one debuff on each assigned group and you're good to go. After that, there's just a few other abilities to deal with. The boss will occasionally mark a few players with an arrow above their head. These players need to run off to either side of the boss making sure to avoid each other, because after a few seconds the boss will cast an unavoidable beam in their direction that does damage to anyone it hits. If you get hit by one beam, it's not much damage, but if you get hit by two beams at the same time, you're dead. So it's super important that you never get hit by someone else's beam. Another ability the boss casts is Expunge. It puts a circle around everyone in the raid that does a ton of damage after a few seconds to anyone in each circle. When this happens, everyone needs to quickly spread out, making sure to not be in anyone else's circle. You'll want your mobile classes to go further away while the slow classes waddle their way out. The healers are going to need to pay attention to the Expunge timer because each circle gets bigger based on the player's missing health, so the raid needs to be topped off before this happens to keep the circles manageable. After they explode, everyone needs to quickly return to their assigned positions to heal the leeching players back up. On Heroic, Expunge will also leave an orb on the ground that does damage to the first person that runs into it. These orbs persist throughout the fight if they aren't soaked, but there's a few ways to manage them. You can have each player, if healthy, run into their own orb, have players with immunities use movement abilities to soak up as many orbs as they can, or simply have the off tank run into the orbs when they're not tanking, making sure to deal with any orbs that are near the boss first. The tanks have two other mechanics to worry about as well, Overwhelm, which is just an occasional big hit on its current target, and then there's the stacking leech debuff that the boss gets every time it melees, which only gets removed whenever it switches targets. So the tanks need to taunt swap pretty often to avoid the boss getting too many stacks. Swapping after every Overwhelm is probably your best bet. When the boss gets to full energy, it'll cast a big suck, pulling everyone toward it and leeching a ton of health from all players. However, the leech is massively reduced the further players are away from the boss, so you should use big raid mobility cooldowns like Stampeding Roar, Windrush, or even a Warlock Gate to help everyone get as far away from the boss as possible. Other than that, there's just some unavoidable raid-wide damage every minute or so. Alright, so quick recap. Before you pull, assign 5 players to stack with each leech debuff. Tanks taunt swap after every overwhelm. Players marked with blue arrows run to either side of the boss. Everyone quickly spread when the entire raid gets the circle debuff. When the boss does the big suck, run away. And that's pretty much it. If you like this guide, support us on Patreon. We have a goal of reaching 100 patrons by the end of the tier so that we can do this for next tier and keep making all kinds of other guides too. Thank you so much to all the patrons who already support us. We honestly can't thank you enough. Also, you can find our written version of this guide on Icy Veins linked below. Like, subscribe, and join our Discord to keep up with everything Ready Check Pull. Peace.